Hello, welcome to this video where today we are talking about scatter plots. We're going to talk about the different correlations, positive, negative, and no correlation, as well as making the line of best fit. So follow along with me. This should be a pretty easy lesson. It totally involves, though, being able to write the equation of the line and graphing it. Um, but overall, correlations are very easy to see. So the first one is about a positive correlation. A positive correlation would be that as x values increase, y values also increase. Okay, so as one value goes up, the other value goes up. A classic example of the way a graph would look would be this here. I'm just going to lower my screen, sorry. Would be this graph here. This is a positive correlation. As x values are increasing, we see generally the y values are increasing. Now, if I said to you, let's draw a line of best fit. A line of best fit would mean that I would want to find two points that if I basically connected those two points, it would pretty much go through a majority of the graph. It would go right in between them. So let's say I connected those two points. This would be a possible example of a line of best fit. And I say a possible example because I could connect other two, another two points, but I see that this line that I just created kind of evenly goes through the center of where those points are. So if I was to look at the two points I picked, the first one is at 500, whoops, 500 comma two. And the second ordered pair I picked looks like it's at 3,500. My Y value is at, let's see, this would be 14, so I'll call it 13, approximately. This is what I'm approximately getting. So if I wanted to write the equation of this line, I'd first have to calculate my slope. So 13 minus 2 over 3,500 minus 500. So I would end up getting 11 over 3,000. Okay, I'm going to pull up a calculator and I'm going to do 11 divided by 3,000. And I'm going to get a really small number, 0, 0.00, and I'm going to round it to 4. Because when I look at that calculator, it's pretty close to that answer. Um, and then I'm good to go. So now I'm going to take the slope, and I can technically take either ordered pair. I'm just going to use the first one to solve for b. So 2 is equal to 0 0.004 times my x value of 500 plus b. So now I'm going to take my calculator. I'm going to do 0 0.004 times 500, and I get 2. So this becomes 2 equals 2 plus b. Subtract 2 on both sides, b is equal to 0. So my equation is y equals 0.004x. Awesome. Let's take a look at the next one. The next type of correlation would be a negative correlation. And a negative correlation happens when the x values increase, but the y values decrease. So as one value goes up, the other value goes down. So for this example here, I see a graph that would definitely show a negative correlation. As the x values increase, the y values are generally decreasing. If I was to take two points, two ordered pairs, let's say this ordered pair and this one that I see are basically through the middle of this graph and write the equation of that line, that would be called the line of best fit. So the points I chose were 20, 14, and 120, 2. So now if I want to calculate my slope, it would be 2 minus 14 over 120 minus 20 which becomes negative 12 over 100, which is just negative 0.12. So now I take that slope, and either ordered pair, it does not matter, to solve for b. So 14 equals negative 0.12 times 20 plus b. Okay, so now this becomes 14 equals negative 240 plus b. Let's go ahead and add 240 on both sides, and we get 16.4 equals b. So our equation is y equals negative 0.12x plus 16.4. 
Awesome. Last one. Let's take a look at no correlation. No correlation would be that as x values increase, the y values increase and decrease. They're kind of jumping all over the place. There's no real you know, image of all the var like the dots going up or the dots going down. They're just kind of scattered everywhere. So an example of a graph that looks like that would be this one here. I can't really say the points are increasing. I can't really say they're decreasing. They're just kind of all scattered about. So if I wanted to take two points that I see are kind of in the center of this scatter plot and draw a line right through them, what I probably will notice is that they basically make a horizontal line. And if I was to take those ordered pairs, let's say 18, 55, and then I would take 39, 55, and I go ahead and I calculate the slope, 55 minus 55 over 39 minus 18 is 0 over 21, which is just 0. We know horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So this equation, okay, is really just 0x plus the y-intercept of 55. So my equation here is just y equals 55. And any horizontal line always has an equation of y equaling that number. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.